Hey what's going on guys, welcome to another video and in today's video I'm going to talk about the fastest way for you to learn web development. So some of you have been asking me like Telmo how long did it took you like to learn web development you know so you could feel comfortable and everything like to apply for a job and the reality is uh, I was when I was learning I started in I believe it was like 2015 I was learning web development like HTML CSS in the beginning but I was learning it like you know just as a hobby I, ne I never thought I never thought that I could actually get a job in, into web development like without a degree so I was just like going slow that, that's one of the reasons that it took me a bit more time. I was just like learning and uh, and what what I was doing. This is like the biggest mistake. I was just like I was going through Treehouse. I was watching all of their videos. I was watching their videos like I was watching Netflix or something. I was spending an afternoon. Wow, this is cool. And then I was um, uh, studying a bit of web design altogether. And I was I was just like doing this. And I was like. Oh wow, I really know, <laughs> I really know a lot of these things. And one day I, I was like, I was learning a little bit about um, passive income, uh, about affiliate marketing, you, you know, like something, for example, like these links that I have on my, um, on my channel, on the description, like for example, with my, uh, with my computer parts, with my camera, with, you know, all these things. If you guys click on those links, and you actually purchase something I earn I earn uh, like a percentage of that money it doesn't cost you more to you guys but just because I refer this I refer this uh, to you so you could go there and buy it uh, I'm actually gonna make a, a percentage of that sale for example I'm gonna say that um, with, with these links that I have um, it was like a month ago or something, some, someone clicked on, on some of my links and um, they were, it was about some books for sure, they click on the books for web design and even though they don't buy the thing that they clicked, if they are still searching for example on Amazon for other things and they are going to buy, I get a percentage of that. So someone bought like a Surface Pro, <laughs> a Surface Pro like a, a tablet computer you know, that you can draw for uh, I don't know it was like two thousand dollars or something and I and I got like a hundred pounds after it you know just like as a commission so yeah <laughs> so I'm getting back to the point now um, this is like affiliate marketing and I was learning about this like when I was learning web development in the beginning I was like wow I can actually build a website like uh, like to do some kind of recommendations like for people that they want to buy gifts or some things you know I can build a website and instead of them buying from my website actually when they click the product I can just send them through um, Amazon and because they click on my links uh, it's my affiliate links they go there and they make some money I was like wow well wow, this is this is a gold mine <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna build a website by myself and I'm gonna start promoting and everything and I was like wow okay let's start building this website and I was like okay so I want to put four products in a row and stuff and I was starting to build the website and I was like I don't know what I'm doing I I don't even know how to start and I was like wow I spent I don't know how many hours just watching all those videos from um, from a tree house and reading some books that I bought and everything and when I was actually starting to to build a website by by my own I didn't know I didn't know anything I was like completely wow I don't know I don't know nothing it's like I just lost so much time all 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 those hours that I was watching it was like for nothing and I was like, wow, I need to really to change the way that I'm, I'm studying this. And uh, yeah, that, that's, that's when I, I realized, wow, I really need to start practicing. And you know, for, for, uh, for some of you out there, some of my students um, that uh, 
uh, that I'm helping them with some projects and stuff. Uh, by the way, if you guys are still interested in becoming one of my students, just send me an email. Uh, the email is on the description below. And some of my students, <laughs> uh, but mo most of them actually, most of them, when I give them a project for them to build, they, they tell me in, in the email that we are exchanging in the beginning, they're like, oh yeah, I, I know some HTML, CSS, and I know how to build a page. But when I give them the project to build, most of them, they're like, wow, my head is completely blank. And then they message me back and they're asking like, uh, tell me, is this normal? But, uh, I, I thought, and, and I'm, I'm just trying to explain them that this is completely normal. This, this is what was happening with me before, you know. It's because we think that we know by watching all of these tutorials, or reading all these books, and we are just spending and we feel so confident. Oh, I know HTML, I know CSS. And when you are actually putting your hands to work, you know nothing, Jon Snow. <laughs> oh my god, I did this, this joke now. You know nothing, you know? <laughs> and, uh, and yeah, this is, this is the reason. So, if you really want to start to start learning something, you need to actually start practicing. This is this is the same 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 thing. Like for example, if I'm gonna if I'm gonna now watch by no reason by no reason I'm going now to YouTube and I'm gonna start watching a tutorial on how to change the tire of a bicycle if it's flat. I I just want to watch it, and after a year or something. Uh, I have a flat tire on my bicycle and I'm like, oh, now I don't remember. Uh, if, if you are, for now for example, if I really have a flat tire on my bicycle and I'm gonna watch a YouTube tutorial, I have a problem that I need to solve, you know? I have a problem that I need to solve, so I'm gonna watch so closely this video because I need to, I need to fix the tire of my bicycle, you know? And, and this way I'm really gonna pay attention to all the details of the video and I'm gonna learn how to change the tire and how to replace the inner tube and everything. But if I'm just watching by watching, you know, I'm not gonna pay any, any attention to details or anything. So, so this is exactly the same with web development. When you are starting to learn, if you want to build a website, Obviously, you should know the basics that, okay, it's okay for you to watch a couple of videos, you know, just like to, to, to know the terms and uh, to know how the language works and everything. But after you, you know a little bit, you don't just keep, keep, keep watching all the time because it's just like wasted time. You go and you start actually practicing and you will see. Uh, like, these, um, like these videos, I've done a couple of tutorials. Uh, how to build a, a, a simple portfolio website. You, you can check here on my on my channel. And most of the people, even though after I explain this, they are like, uh, I don't know how to move. If I want to move my logo on the on the navigation bar, if I want to move my logo up and down, how can I do it? And it's great when you when you have when you have like these kind of uh, problems or something. It's great because it means that you can learn. And you can you can just go on Google and, and you go on Google and say, wow, how can I move an element on the page up and down or something? And because you have you have a problem and you want to solve it, you will learn. You know, you will you will go around, search, and try to fix it. And in the future, if this happens again, you will remember, aha, I had this problem before in another website that I was building, and. Even though if I can't remember now exactly, I can just like go back to that project that I built. This happens to me all the time at work, for example. If I'm if I'm building um, a contact form with PHP or something, you know, uh, like to send an email, you have to fill out the form or something. If I didn't if I didn't do this for a long time, let's say, and I don't remember everything. Um, in my head, you know, because it's normal if you are not doing it all the time, I can just like go to a previous project where I built it and I can just, okay, ah, this is what I did or something. Or if I never done it, like I said, I just go to Google and I research and it's like a trial and error. And this is how you will learn. 
you you have to be a problem solver you know that's why people that's why people they hire you because you have to be a problem solver you know when a company are hiring a developer they expect that you don't know everything but you know how to think you know how to use your your head you know if you if you face up a problem you are not going to like oh i can't do anything now what can i do or something you, you can't be like all the time dependent you know Obviously, it's okay for you to ask help to other developers sometimes, you know, but you, you can't be this kind of needy. You need to be good at prob problem solving, you know. But this comes with experience. In the beginning, it's completely normal to not know. So, that, that, that's it, guys, you know. Uh, this is the main, the main point of this video, is like, if you want to learn web development faster, you know, you just have to keep practicing and building and, and actually facing problems, you know. Encounter as much problems as, as you can uh, encounter, like uh, trying to build a website. Oh, I don't know why this is why this is like this or why this is. You need to keep like trying, and w when you feel like you really don't know, of course you you should ask for some help for a senior developer or, or someone like me. I I've answered so many so many of you guys that sent me an email like that project that we were building a portfolio website. Lots of you guys have sent me. And I, I feel happy for that, you know, because it means that you are, you guys are really trying, you know. And when I see someone that you, you guys are, um, are sending me an email, oh, tell them, can you just have a, a quick look to my code and see why this is not working or something. And I reply all the time because it means that you guys are trying. That's why I, I don't even put like the files, the, the, the completed files in there because most of you, I, I'm not saying most of you, but I, I know many of you guys would just probably just like download the, the, um, the files and you would just go and change your name and your image and that's it. But if you are following my videos and you are building it by yourself, you will learn so much more. That's, that's some of the reasons why I don't, I don't put the, the links in there. And yeah, so basically just like uh, summarizing all these video guys, just keep, keep learning and uh, whatever problems you face, just try to solve them, you know, this is how you grow as a developer and this is how you gain experience, you know, because the difference, the difference between like um, a junior developer and a senior developer is that the senior developer has faced so much more problems than the times that uh, a junior developer tried to solve something, you know, <laughs> the, the, the senior developer has faced so many, so many problems, that's why they are good at problem solving, because they, they face so many different problems in their uh, life, oh, I don't know how to do this, I don't know how to do that, I don't know how to do this, you know, and this, these kind of things keep building and they say, wow, I now managed to solve this, I now managed to solve that and all of these things they, they just keep coming to your mind and you will remember and in the future you will be able to solve these kind of things much more quicker. So yeah, I think that's it for this video guys and I really hope you like this video. Let me know in the comments down below if you like this video and if you have any questions or something, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next video guys.